Hey, what's going on, guys? Before this video starts, I just want to let you know I do have a code in the description. Uh, if, you, if you click it, you get to a broker that gives you actually two free stocks. Sometimes it's 10, depending on the season. Um, so feel free to click that for some free stocks. And I also have a Transpirator referral link in the description below, and you can use this charting platform, and I think it's pretty clean. It's a very good platform. You can strategy test, you can see option flow, and you can do a lot of stuff with it. So make sure to click that link if you're interested in getting it. And without further ado, let's get into the video. Yo, what's going on guys? Uh, I'm just going to be showing you guys some intraday setup, so I'm not really live trading, but um, I'm just going to be showing you guys what I'm watching now. So right now it's 3.11 p.m. Um, I actually just charted this out. This is QQQ, and I am not in a play, but I see a perfect setup forming that I am looking at right now. So what I see is a, actually a pattern, and I don't know if I've taught patterns before, but some of you guys probably know what it is. So um, I see, I saw this downturn break, so I'm going to draw this real quick. See how this is a clear downturn break. Um, we draw from this to this, to this body, to this body. Uh, this wick rejected, this wick also rejected, and we got a nice candle with a lot of volume. So if we turn on the volume, look, I bet you this is a lot of volume. Yep, so look at this volume candle compared to last time. And let me um, turn this up a little bit. So do you see do you see this volume candle compared to this? So that is a clear sign of a breakout. So you could have bought there. Um, and then look what happens. It retraces the 9, 9 EMA. It probably fakes a lot of people out because it goes on the EMA, which stops a lot of people because usually people stops are under the 9 EMA and it actually goes back up. And then it stops out people again once people chase and get back in calls, which is kind of crazy. Um, so that's why I do wait for a candle close. You never want to sell or buy when, until a candle close. Um, rejects here, it goes over here. People probably bought calls when it goes over the 90 of 8, they get stopped again. And then I bet you they chased again. Look, they chased calls after they saw a close over. And look, it wicked back under price, stopped out those people again. So if you're a retail trader trading like that, you probably got stopped a lot uh, if you're using the 90 EMA. Um, all these wicks are to stop people, stop retail traders out. Um, you just got to wait for the candle close and trust trust your play. So what I see right now is a um, like a bull pennant. So do you see how we had this big move up? One, two, three, four, five. Five big green candles up. And this is called a bull pennant. So let me type in bull pennant and images. So look, this is a bull pennant. Flagpole consolidation breakout so we have flagpole consolidation and right now I'm looking for a breakout so I'm not gonna take the breakout unless unless this is the key thing so you want to draw it from whatever makes the most sense so right here draw wick 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 would make the most sense so you want to wait to play the breakout uh, to like you want to wait till the candle closes one of these lines so if the five minute candle close over this you take it so see how this looked like it was gonna close over this but it didn't so you don't want to take this up right so uh that's very important to know and do you see how this wick goes all the way down here you don't want to take puts yet because it didn't close over this line and i guarantee whichever way this goes it's going to make a pretty big move so uh that's something i'm watching for right now and you also got to keep in mind there's a supply zone right here and just above the supply zone is a gap so see how we have this gap and gaps are usually filled so that's why I'm expecting a break above, and then maybe we get to the middle of the gap, maybe retest right here, and then bounce again. But again, I'm not going to predict that. I'm going to wait to see which way it goes. I could be wrong, but I could still be right, because if I see close on here and I take puts, I could still be right. Maybe my prediction is wrong, but I don't buy based on what I predict. I buy based on I react the price. I buy what based on what price does. So um, that's just very important. And another thing I look for, do you see how this is consolidating? I also look for other tech stocks, maybe doing the same thing. So look, flagpole, consolidation, Apple's literally doing the same thing right now. Uh, let's check AMD. Um, so AMD actually is a bit stronger and you can see why, because we got flagpole, consolidation, and then it actually broke out of the bull flag. Um, and this is how you know, uh, this is a really messy trend line, but it broke out of this bull flag. So AMD is much stronger right now. Um, and it's at this actually very important 90 resistance level. It's rejected here a lot. Um, but uh, 
I would wait for confirmation to go short. So to go short, I'll probably look for a close under the EMAs, and then maybe I'll look for a close on and I'll view up too far below. But I would want to see a giant rejecting candle right here to go short. Um, but this obviously looks stronger than QQ or Q right now. So QQQ. So being that this looks stronger, QQQ could break out. But if this gets rejected by supply, you could take QQQ and AMD puts. Um, so let's check the video as well. Uh, so Nvidia, Nvidia looks weaker than AMD. See how it made it did the flagpole consolidation. It actually double topped. It didn't break out on the bull flag. I mean, it did on a lower time frame. This is kind of a bull flag in a lower time frame, and it did in the lower time frame. But it double topped here. So this obviously looks really weak. It failed to break. It failed to make a higher high. So this looks weak. So depending on what your thesis is and how you trade, you could be like, you could say, oh, I'm looking to take puts right now because everything looks weak. But um, Again, this is some nice consolidation. We got a gap. We have a gap upwards to fill. So I would definitely expect this gap to fill very soon. Um, so honestly, with this gap and with AMD looking pretty sharp right now, I think we're going to break above, but I'm not going to predict that. I'm going to wait to see what price does. I'm going to wait to see if we um, break that ascending triangle QQ and or the bull pun i mean and the reason why i'm gonna wait oh and it looks like we are now the reason why i would wait for this is because once i i see this break up to the upside that's when i can get an a and b nvidia apple facebook um and it gives me a lot of other opportunities so one thing you need to do is if you see qqq breaking out that's a strong breakout and you see a stock like facebook that kind of looks weak right now you could buy the weaker stock um, and then when Facebook breaks out, you can get a better move in the weaker stock because it could turn strong if it breaks out. But that could go both ways because AMD, because AMD already looks strong, you could buy you could buy AMD instead because if QQQ broke out, you could expect more strength from this. Uh, but there's two days, to, but there's obviously a lot of different ways you could do that. You could buy the weaker one or the stronger one. There's not really any right or wrong answer. Some people say you buy the stronger one, uh, but it depends on like what's going on. So maybe Facebook has news. You would buy AMD, not Facebook, right? Even if QQQ broke out. Um, but again, AMD is ready to apply. Uh, I wouldn't be surprised if there's a rejection. But uh, we saw the SPY fill the gap yesterday from a while ago. So I'm honestly going to be bullish on SPY soon. But um, yeah, so right now it looks like we're getting a pretty decent side rejection candle. Um, this is where I would buy calls right here if we weren't near supply but i'm gonna wait to see if we make a move above and the, what i look for is i look for a break and then a retest and then on that retest that's when i like to get in um with a stop loss just below so say we come up here we break this high then we retest this and then we i see a nice green candle that's when i get in so um lots lots of stuff to look for right now um i think we're at a very interesting point um but yeah let me know if this got, uh, helped you guys and uh peace out All right, so guys, look. Remember how I said I was waiting for a, waiting for a breakup, but I didn't take the play yet. This is why you wait. It never closed over, um, and you really want to be paying attention to the volume on this. Look, you could argue this closes over, but look, there's no volume. You want to see, you want to see close over the volume like this. So obviously, this isn't a strong close. This is a Doji candle. So why would you take a, why do you take this on a Doji channel? A candle and remember drawing these trend lines is all subjective it's not guaranteed and as you can see I drew it against this on these wicks but to these bodies so I probably should have drawn it from these wicks to these wicks to this wick so I definitely did draw that a little wrong looking back uh, but again you wouldn't have taken the you you don't want to take a breakout unless it's a giant candle like this and look see how strong this candle is look this is a full body after this closes that's when you take the puts and usually your target is this right here this magnitude so obviously you wouldn't hit your target but again um it it won't bounce like it won't hit the target like what am i trying to say so basically this is a, this is a short target so it's kind of low risk reward um so in this situation, something you could do is you could take the puts here and then just put a stop loss at 15, 20%. And then once you're up, set a stop loss at break even. So you would have been right here, up right here, set a stop loss at break even. Um, it probably wouldn't have been hit yet. If it was zero DTE, that definitely would have been hit. 
like definitely it's 3 30 there's only 30 minutes till close but you would if it if you took a zero dte play after this close you would have done like down 20 30 percent here and immediately you're up 50 percent here because there's 30 minutes left to market close so um like this is a situation where it's all subjective you don't have to take zero dtes in this situation i would have took in the next day six buyeries uh, because there's only 30 minutes till market close and i can't even trade after 3 p.m we bull anyways so there's 30 minutes left until the market closes i'm not going to post anything i'm not going to put another clip in the video because i'm about to upload this but my guess is um we probably dump back down to here um we'll see though um that is just based off of screen time i see a lot of these giant big moves up and then once we break below the bull pennant um i Sorry about that. Once we break the bull, bull pennant, we usually come back down to this demand zone. So let me just draw this demand zone right here. Um, so yeah, let's see what happens. And yeah, that's exactly why you wait for confirmation. You don't just buy calls in the middle of a bull pennant because you don't know if it's going to break up. So um, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed. Peace.